how's it, how's it going? My name is Mikey Schlosser. I grew up in Davis, California, played at Davis Senior High School, went to the University of Michigan, uh, and then I currently play for the Denver Outlaws and for the San Diego Seals. Um, growing up, uh, once, I, once I got into the game of lacrosse, I really fell in love with it. And I think that is one of the one of the biggest characteristics. You know, honestly, I just really enjoyed practicing. Uh, I always had a blast going out there with friends, throwing around, hitting the wall is always enjoyable. It was some, it was always so much fun to shoot. And so I think just the kind of the genuine enjoyment of practicing was um, was very helpful. Because I, I honestly, you know, I believe that the more time you put into anything, the better you're going to be, especially in a game like lacrosse where it's. You know, it's so much a skill game. The more time you put with your stick, the more you get to know it, and the more it gets to know you, ultimately the better player you're going to be. So focusing on your high school career, are there, like, certain instances or, like, trips that you went on or, like, a tournament you played in where you kind of, like, played against high-level players and it was, like, that moment of, like, hey, I can do this. It, it doesn't matter where I'm from. You know, I can, I can compete with these guys at the higher levels. Um... You know, I think so. Like, honestly, throughout, you know, going through high school and college, I honestly, you know, I always had a desire to play against the best to see how I'd stack up. And there was definitely plenty of times where I didn't stack up well. And that was always a big motivator. Um, but going to the, you know, going to the events in high school, to the recruiting events, like, I remember we would always go to the Adrenaline Challenge. And that was in Del Mar. And it was one of the biggest West Coast tournaments. There'd be a lot of good teams from, from you know, the whole West Coast, even up the West Coast of Canada. And going to those tournaments and competing against kids that you knew were committed to play places or, you know, had had prestigious high school careers. Competing on the same field with those types of players definitely gives you some of that confidence. But it definitely is something that is learned throughout the whole career. and. There, I had many ups and downs where, you know, I thought I could compete and then I, you know, wasn't quite up to it. And so you kind of have to go back to the drawing board and keep working, keep working on your craft. And the, has that come up uh, at other times? Like, obviously, we're talking about the high school career, but it come up in college and then maybe again in the MLL and, you know. Yeah, in college, definitely. There was a lot of highs and lows in college. There was times when I thought I was finally figuring it out and finding my rhythm and then only to, you know, not not quite perform the way I, I had intended, um, but I learned. I definitely learned. I learned a ton in college. I had a, I had like some serious ups and downs. I remember my junior year, had a really tough time. wasn't playing where I wanted to, and I was getting very frustrated and kind of. I wouldn't say I forgot kind of the enjoyment in the game, but it was, it felt it felt a lot like work at times. But I'm really glad I really glad it happened honestly because that summer I went back to the drawing board, went back to just enjoying it and. Senior year, I ended up having a lot of fun, fun again, and we were able to have some success, and you know, hopefully help help the program a little bit. Um, now that you're playing professionally, and you might encounter those things, like what are some lessons that you learned as a young player that kind of help you now up to this day? Still, um, I think the biggest thing is lacrosse is such a fluid game. It has its ups and downs, and I always tell the young guys, it's like it's a game of mistakes. If you drop a pass or throw a bad pass, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's you know. It happens during the course of a game, and you know don't let that try, try to not let that affect your overall demeanor. At the end of the day, the what I what I do love about lacrosse is it's it's up and down, it's fast paced. So if you make a mistake on one end, you know go back and try your hardest to to over you know outdo that mistake with a positive play, and then go back and try and get it right the next time. Um, but that's really all it is, and it realize too. There's what I love about it since it is a skill game. A lot of it is a skill game. You know, you can always, I feel like you can always improve. Even if you think you're, you're reaching a, a high point in your game, there's always something else you can work on. And there's always another level of comfort that I feel you can reach. Um, I've definitely learned a lot trying to play indoor this year. You see all these guys and, you know, their sticks and their hands and how good they are at passing and catching and shooting and doing everything, you know, in a tight space and doing it fast is unbelievable. I've definitely learned a ton and I've realized that you know, my game needs to come a long way if I want to be able to compete with, with those types of players. So it's, it's another, another challenge that I'm excited to get to work on. I think it was an email. Okay. I think it was an email. No, okay. phone, no phone call. Did you actually check your email or was it like your parents calling you? Pretty, like, sure, pretty sure my mom probably got it. Totally. I, I still to this day am learning how to check my email. Um, <laughs> 
pretty sure my mom, you know, let me know. Um, okay, um, were, were you more excited or, or were your parents? I was definitely really excited. Um, my, and my other, my best friend growing up at home, he got invited as well, which I thought was very cool. And then my other buddy who we played with ended up actually coming down for it. So it was a really, it was a cool experience. And where was the game at? Uh, I was in Orange County, I believe, at Orange Coast Community College, okay. I think, something like that, yeah. Really yeah. nice, really nice bushes on one end of the field, or plants or flowers or something. Did you get any points in the game? Did you get on the stat sheet? I think I had one goal. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't play well, really, at all. Um, you know, I tried, but I was coming. I, I kind of hurt my knee a little bit last game, or second to last game of my senior year. Um, nothing bad, but something I was rehabbing at the time and so that was one of my first playing experiences coming back not that that made any difference i was in, in fine shape and ready to play but yeah i just didn't there was a lot of a lot of other brighter stars during the game gotcha um okay so that's maybe not one of your best lacrosse experiences but, honestly but honestly though it's pretty high up there because i made some friends there like some really close friends that i still keep in touch with to this day you know there's a cut there's this i met my buddy aaron medeski big canadian dude there and um He's now one of my closest friends, and so that was an awesome experience. And there's a ton of other guys that I got to meet there that, you know, I still see on a regular basis and still get together with as much as I can. So, cool stuff. It, it was a very fun experience. Let's go down that road a little. Um, lacrosse is a tight community, and you know everyone that's involved in it has some great, you know, experiences like the one you're talking about, just meeting people. Um, what's like one of your favorite lacrosse trips that you've been on? Um. Uh, oh be man. A bus ride or. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of them. I mean, honestly, in college, we had a lot of fun. Anytime we flew or drove somewhere, we always had a blast traveling. Um, you know, and in high school, those tournaments were always awesome. I would say that I think some of the most fun have been, like, the men's tournaments um, after college because those are, you know, the competition's okay, but it's all about, you know, the whole weekend experience and, what I love is just reconnecting with people that you've met before, you've, you know, you've hung out with a good amount, but you don't see on a regular basis because there's a lot of friends that you make that, especially living where I am, there's a, like the majority of my lacrosse friends that I, that I met through playing aren't really close to that area. So anytime you go to those tournaments, it's a chance to reconnect with guys that you don't see on a regular basis, which I don't know, that's definitely the most special part about the sport is, you know, coast to coast, there's a lot of you'll end up meeting a lot of players and the community is so tight knit. It's fun to hang out, see everybody. That's great. Is that something that like is also kind of going on with like the seals? Like it's a lot of guys from like a bunch of different places and you guys come into town for maybe like two days before your game and you got to start connecting and getting some chemistry going. Like you kind of elaborate on that. And like, is that pretty similar to like other lacrosse experiences you've had? Like the tournament teams and. You know? uh, yeah, it's, it's somewhat similar. It's definitely very similar to the, to the MLL, like with the outlaws. Um, I think one thing for our team in the summer is there was, is a really a group of a lot of really really good guys that we'd all come together and we'd make the most of the 48 to 72 hours that we were together and that's the same way this group has been with the seals especially being a, a younger american player who has no idea what he's doing um there's been a lot of awesome you know veteran leadership from really everyone everyone from the the newer guys to the the guys who've been in the league forever and they've all been incredible, you know, helping out the younger guys and making it a team atmosphere where everyone is, you know, kind of excited and not afraid to just be themselves and have a good time. So, yeah, definitely very fortunate to have an awesome locker room. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, now that you've been able to experience a lot of these things, what are some things that you would kind of pass on to, like, a younger Western player or, or maybe not just a Western player but somebody coming out of, like, a non-traditional lacrosse environment wanting to kind of go down your same path? Uh, my biggest thing to any player coming out of a non-traditional area is uh, really focusing on the stick, focusing on the stick. Uh, I just know for myself personally, when I really started to get into the game, I had my stick with me all the time. I was hitting the wall as much as possible because, you know, there's things, there's things you can control yourself as a player. You know, maybe you're not playing in the highest competition all the time, but there's things you can control and that's the stick. And so the more that you can have your stick at the highest level possible, then you can genuinely learn the game at a higher level when you are playing in those bigger situations or against better players. And especially, you know, for midfielder, attackman, offensive type players, you know, you can always work on your shot and doing that at full speed. Just, you know, when I, whenever I was practicing and when I still am practicing, I try to 
practice shooting the ball on the run at full speed because you know that's what you're doing in a game. And those things really make a big difference because when you're, when you're playing, especially for me, I don't think at all. My brain is going bananas, so I just run around and, you know, you, ho you hope that you can rest on the practice that you've put in come game day. And so practice as much as you can and really, you know, love the game and enjoy it. That's what it's all about. Um, if you're, if, if you're going to put those hours in, you need to love the game and you need to have some, ex not expectations, but you need to have some desire to, to get somewhere with it, I think. I think that makes all the difference, especially on the days, the tough days. You know, there's, there's times when I don't really have the biggest desire to go out and run around, but you know at the end of the day it's going to be worth it, and usually once you get out there you have a good time. So enjoy it and, you know, try to do everything as hard as you can. Great. A uh, couple, uh, just whatever comes to your mind when I answer these questions. Uh, roll, dodge, or split? Uh, split, for sure. I'm, I'm very uncoordinated with the roll. Okay, split or righty to right? <laughs> Depends. Either right to right or split to the left. Okay. Um, if coach isn't watching and none of your kids are watching, what's your favorite type of shot to take? Uh, probably an on-the-run shot with my left hand, I think. Bouncer or? Uh, I don't know, okay. just somewhere. Just hope, hopefully somewhere in the goal. I don't usually look. I just throw it. If the coach isn't watching, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blow to high. Um, all right, what's the funniest thing about the indoor game versus the outdoor game? Um, trying to move less. A lot of the advice I've received is to move less. Okay. Uh, and think more, which I'm terrible at doing. Okay. It's pretty much the polar opposite of my life. It's move more and think less. So okay. trying, to, trying to change up that and spending more, you know, putting more of the energy into thinking things, you know, thinking what's going to happen, anticipating as opposed to reacting and going. Um, it's been really fun to learn so far. It's definitely frustrating at times, but there's been a lot of awesome right. teachers, so enjoying it. Um, okay, so indoor or outdoor, which one would you pick? Um, it's definitely tough to say right now, because right now I'm definitely in a big indoor mindset. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it so far, and I think if I can get the hang of it a little bit more, they'll be pretty equal. But I guess I'd have to say, just considering I've played outdoor my whole life, and I know a little bit more what to expect. I'd maybe enjoy that more. I don't know. Pretty even though, honestly. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, all right, Mikey, last question. What's your favorite or best lacrosse memory to date? Playing Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> not playing Notre Dame, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. Um,